Hello harmonica fans, my name is Lee Sankey and today I'm running through an exercise or uh, help you walk through a tune to improve your tongue blocking in the low register of the diatonic blues harmonica. So this is part of my tongue blocking series for uh, the blues harmonica. And in conjunction with this, I've been uploading a series of exercises to help improve your bends. And one of those uh, exercises, which I upload earlier today in fact, uh, I'm going to use to build a tune out of. So I'm using an A harmonica and we're going to be playing in cross position, so we'll be in the key of E. And the idea of this is to take this exercise, which essentially sounds like this. Which is all built around improving your bending so you're hitting the specific notes, which in this case, if we're in cross position, is the major third, the minor third, and the two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that to make a tune. Now, I'll play the tune through once and then I'll break, break it down, okay? It sounds like this. Okay, so it's basically that's a 12 bar head, which is great to practice your tongue blocking in the low register. So I was tongue blocking, uh, I'll break down how I was using the tongue blocking there in a second. Now the key thing is, uh, what's good about this, is that we're using that draw three, and we're using the first three notes on it, so draw three, no bend, draw three, half step bend, and draw three, whole step bend, a tone, to represent the chord changes on a 12 bar. And this is what's so cool about um, draw three and if you start to understand how you can use those notes to emphasize certain chord changes. So here, draw three, no step, no bend, is the major third of the one chord, okay? Which in this case, we're in E. So that's the major third of E. Now when we move, and we use that across the one. Now when we move to the four chord, we can use the half step bend on draw three. Now normally on the one, so on the E chord, that note is the major, uh, minor third, okay? However, same note, but if we move key, the same note does a different thing, it performs a different role. Now when we're on the four chord, as in we're in the key of A, that same note now is the seventh, the dominant seventh, okay? So when we go down to the one. So same note, but it's doing something different. Now the dominant seventh is a, is a, is a real anchoring note for a, for, a, for a key. So we can use that minor third, sorry, we can use the draw three, a half step bend, not as a minor third, but we can use it as the dominant seventh on the four chord. Now when we come to the five chord, we have got the draw three full step bend. Now normally in cross position, that um, draw three whole step bend is the, t the two, okay, in, in that parent scale. However, the draw three whole step bend, when we're in B, as in on the five chord, is the fifth, okay? So it's a great way of telling the listener we're on the five chord, all right? Um, so, using just those three notes, we can play through a 12 bar sequence. So, the riff essentially goes from the, sem the bend below the note we want for the chord. So on the one chord, we're going from the m m uh, minor third to the major third. Not going from the, 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 um, the whole step bend. Okay, it's a semitone, and this is what's so cool about learning to play this particular tune, because you have to get your bends right. So in conjunction with that exercises, exercise that I uh, uploaded, 
it will really make a big difference to your control and understanding of how to hit the bends, but what the bends are, and to hit them precisely. Because the tune doesn't work unless you've got your bending down. So on the one, we're going minor third to major third. And then we're on the four. Now on the four chord, Again, we're a semitone below the note, we start a semitone below the note where we want to end up. So here we're going to go from the whole step bend, so draw three, two bends down, and we're going to go up to the seventh. So we're going to raise it a semitone. So it's not the minor third now, it's the seventh, okay? So we're going. And we do that twice on the four chord. Now when we get, then we go back to the one, and it's the same move again. Then we get to the five chord. Now here, we're gonna go draw three, no step bend, and we bend it all the way down, a tone, to the second bend, okay? So we're going. It's the note we want. And then for the four chord, we do the same riff again. So we go the draw three, whole step bend, up a semitone, to the draw three half step bend, which is the seventh of the four chord. And then we come to the turnaround, which I'll break down in a minute. So using those that semitone bend, and then the draw three all the way down, we can play through a 12 bar. Now, at the same time, we've got this anchoring riff. So on the one, it sounds like this. to the four chord. Now, the draw three, the, by the way, you can play this all lip pursed if you, if you prefer, but we're talking about tongue blocking here. And there are lots of different ways you can approach how you bias yourself, as I've talked about before, between how much tongue blocking you do and how much lip pursing you do. And hit, this is a classic example of sort of blending various, various things. So here, I'm anchoring myself for the purposes of this exercise on the draw two, lip pursed. And the draw three, all the bends on the draw three, I'm playing tongue blocked. So you've got. Now that is literally blow two, draw two, draw one. Now what you can do, you can hit that draw one, tongue blocked. So you're tongue blocking this side on the draw three, lip pursing on the draw two, and tongue blocking this side on the draw one. Or you can tongue block on the draw three and lip purse everything on the two and the one. Okay, it's up to you. Um, and sometimes I will tongue block all of it, it depends. But this is a great way of getting the idea of almost doing two things at once uh, with your mouth. So it's almost like playing as, a, again, a, a, a metaphor I've used a lot of the time is like the right and left hand on your um, when you're playing piano. So you've got something going on with your lip pursing, but you're using your tongue block technique to almost play lead. So if we break it down, you've got this recurring riff. And then on top of that, you lay these series of draw three bends. Okay, so on the one, now we go to the four. Now the riff is the same, but we're instead of going draw three, half step bend, no bend, we're going draw three, whole step bend, tone, and then we're raising it to that draw three, half step bend, okay? So this is. Then we go back to the one. Now we're at the five chord. Now here we can go, you could do um, a draw three, tone and a half bend, so that's the lowest note you can get on the draw three, up to the draw three whole step bend for the five chord. But what I've chosen to do here, just to throw in a, a different sort of bending technique, 
is to go from draw three no bend down to the draw three whole step bend okay so on the five we've got and then we're at the four so we go draw three whole step bend up a semitone and then the one now the turnaround the last um, last bar um, I'm going a really really simple so so draw one draw two whole step bend back to the one blow two draw one now you'll be on the draw one at the end and then the next riff is that draw three half step bend to the draw three no bend and this is a great way of showing how you can throw your tongue in and you can jump the two instantly and hit those bends that's what you're working towards so at the end you go there's no sort of jumping and trying to miss the two etc you can just throw your tongue block and if you've got your tongue blocking down you can hit that draw three half step bend and raise it up so once again i'll play through the 12 bar the great thing about this, this, this tune is you're taking the listener through all the chord changes and you're you taking them through the chord changes simply by using a semitone bend on that draw three. And once more. your tongue blocking accuracy and um, it sounds pretty cool so I hope that's useful I'll upload another video soon taking some of these concepts a bit further once again thanks a lot for all your questions uh, views and support and interest really appreciate it thank you